I mean, I knew there would be days like this. <laughs> but I'm not bored yet, so just financially stressed already. Well, we've got the tarpaulin over the boom because uh, it's lousy weather. The tools are out. My hands are covered in oil because the gear lever has fallen apart again. I've taken it to a repair place in the harbour at Ramsgate to get it fixed. The bloke says he can do it by Friday. Weather's stinking today, stinking tomorrow. Maybe better Friday. Putting a positive spin on it, at least the gears have fallen apart at the same time that the weather's turned horrible. Repairs took longer than I'd hoped, so I missed my tidal gate for getting around North Foreland and into the Thames estuary. The boat got stuck in Ramsgate for a week, which is bound to colour your impressions of the place. Here I am by the Ramsgate home for Smack Boys, founded 1881. And there's Jacob's Ladder, because the man who built it was called Jacob. The town has a ferry port that has direct links to Ostend in Belgium, probably the dullest nation in Europe, which is why the ferries tend to concentrate on truck traffic, plus the odd tourist who accidentally bought a holiday home in Belgium. Ramsgate, it turns out, is rather keen on signage. There's this introduction to classic, cheerless, killjoying, rule-making British bureaucracy. First of all, it tells you that Ramsgate is a working harbour, with an open quayside, with uneven surfaces, which get slippery when it rains. Dogs are banned, CCTV cameras are encouraged, as are wheel clampers, just in case you should want to park without a permit. No fishing, no swimming, no diving or jumping, and no travelling at over 10 miles an hour. Oh yes, and welcome to Ramsgate in five languages. Balls, lots of those everywhere. And I'm sure pretty soon there'll be a sign up banning the use of model jet skis. There's a sailor's church right next to the Smack Boys home. It's a lovely building which seems to be as much a homage to the art of model ship making as to our good lord. Over the door of the redundant pavilion are a pair of Greek style statues. The man has a foot missing but the woman has wonderful naked breasts. Worth showing twice. Very modern shape, I think they are. They look thoroughly 21st century silicon to me. The harbour is packed with old pre-war motor yachts, which were used to ferry men back from Dunkirk after the Germans whooped our army in the early part of the Second World War. Needless to say, the successful evacuation of hundreds of thousands of soldiers from France is now seen as a great British success story. The old customs house, great building by the way, is now a museum closed when I was there. The council decided to spend a fortune restoring a magnificent steam tug called Servia, only to let it rot to the point where it has flowers growing through the decks. Well done lads, money well spent. How nice, the local MP Dr Stephen Ladyman opened this building and this building is showers and laundry. Well done MP. There's a deserted beach with the building site behind. An art deco tea kiosk run by a woman in a Union Jack apron and clearing away the tables bang on five o'clock. Ramsgate has the ugliest obelisk I've ever seen built to commemorate the fact that some king or other passed through here on his way to somewhere else the inscription is so fawning that it's worth showing another shot of the balls. The town has uplifting murals, satisfyingly small streets and alleys, slightly crazed butchers and pubs frequented by Rottweilers.
also seems to be quite a lot of semi-military activity going on, all quite threatening, until you realise they're practising their own version of the Lambada. <laughs> <laughs>